see these, mm -hmm. uh, and they that's, that definitely made to the chisel. There's one here, and there's another one here, and another one here. As we were filling these sills here, we sanded off all of the old original paint, and uh, I noticed these marks which were incised with a wood chisel, and they're about the same distance apart as uh, the, the dex boards, which will go all the way across. And I have a feeling that they were used when they put the pieces, the tongue and groove wood, on here, they would nail one down, and then the next one they would hammer together, and then they would drive a chisel into the wood and use it to lever the wood tight together. Now, interestingly enough, we're wondering how effective that was, because when we finally found this floor a hundred years later, there had developed spaces as much as a half an inch between every board. And uh, what we think was that the wood was soaking wet, not dried at all when they put it on, and that they had put it up tight, but as anybody who has built decks with wet lumber knows, that they will find that the things shrink up. So that's probably what happened. So I'm, I'm theorizing that these marks were used to put it together as tight as possible, and then they must have been in a real rush to uh, get this car out of there, not using seasoned wood, and it gradually dried up. Now, the wood that we're using, these two are new pieces, are thoroughly seasoned. They were uh, from a build, building that was taken down, that was built probably a hundred years ago at least, and uh, they were, they had cracked already. They have warped to whatever degree they were going to, and the cracks in them have are as big as they're ever going to be, and we fill them, and we know that they will be stable. So the car will be more stable it was than when it came out of the Laconia car company. Uh, and this is where a 3x3 three three sill will go that actually holds the cab down. Through some of these will be a, a rod that is bolted underneath this sill here, up through and it will go right up to the roof of the cab. There's three of those that they, see, I guess it will be here, yeah, there will be one out here, one here, one there. I don't have to get that. Uh, the number one motorman's valve next to the main reservoir, the dry reservoir, the second reservoir. Uh, this is a pipe that feeds air to the auxiliary uh, circuits of the car, it goes to the whistle, to the sander valve, and it also goes up to the feed valve, which you can see upstairs there, and then it go, comes back down from the feed valve and goes back to the you auxiliary know, reservoir and the triple valve. Uh, this is kind of a rat's nest of pipes in here. When we took it apart, we wondered if we'd be able to get it back together again, but it turned out without the floor there and so forth, we were able to do it and we hope it's right. This little uh, device right here is a safety valve. This will blow off if the air compressor doesn't stop and the air continues to flow into the system. Uh, normally they're not located in such a, a hard to get at place, but this is where it was originally.